All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from, and I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. And today, you know, I just want to entitle this lesson, While They Yet Had Liberty, you know, pretty much going into, you know, those of our people, you know, the two thirds of the nation of Israel, they pretty much have the liberty, you know, to get this word, but you know, they're doing other things. So I'm just going to bring out a few scriptures, learn well in this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. So I'm going to start in the book of Amos chapter eight, verse 11. And it says, behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, <coughs> that I will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. So yes, you know, right now, those of our people that are still lost, you know, not the, you know, the lost sheep. You know that are eventually going to be awakened you know not those that are going to come in at the 11th hour you know those of our people that pretty much have the liberty to get this word you know while the internet is still up you know while the men of the lord are still out you know on the corners you know preaching pretty much you know they're they're spending their time in folly instead of trying to get this word to you know ultimately preserve themselves from the trouble that's about to come on this earth you know, primarily Jacob's trouble and ultimately that destruction that the Lord is about to bring, you know, because America is going to be destroyed. And a lot of our people are still oblivious to the fact that, you know, that's going to come to pass. So I'm going to go to the book of <coughs> Slakia, Romans chapter 11. And I'm going to start at verse five and it says, even so. Then at this present time, also, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. So, yes, you know, you have a remnant, you know, of the nation of Israel, the elect of the nation of Israel that is going to get this word, you know, verse six. And if by grace, then is it not like you and if by grace, then is it no more of works or the wise grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace? Otherwise, work is no work. And that's the point. What then? Israel hath obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So yes, pretty much the elect of the nation of Israel have obtained this word, you know, have been awakened to, you know, the, the true understanding of, of the Bible, you know, while the rest of our people are in gross darkness, you know, they're still into these other, you know, philosophies and religions, you know, Christianity and Islam, you know, just to name a couple, you know, you see our people that are still, you know, engulfed in this madness when, you know, they're searching for answers, but they're looking for it in the wrong places, you know. Two thirds of our people are gonna die, you know. Then I'm gonna bring that out. The book of Zechariah, chapter 13, and verse 8, and it says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left. Yes, two thirds of the nation of Israel are gonna die for their wickedness, you know, because they refuse to repent, you know. They have the liberty to get this word to preserve their souls from the judgment and the destruction that the Lord is going to bring, you know. But again, they're blinded, you know, they're being blinded from getting this truth, you know, from getting this understanding, you know. So the Lord is pretty much going to be justified in destroying two thirds, you know, and preserving that third, which is the elect, you know, the elect will be saved from Jacob's trouble and ultimately from 
the destruction, which is, you know, those ICBM missiles destroying America, you know. <clears throat> and then I'm going to read verse 9. It says, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will refine them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. And they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall say the Lord Yahweh is my power, you know. So pretty much, you know, two thirds of the nation of Israel is going to be destroyed. And the one third, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be delivered, you know. But they're going to be, as it says, you know, tried as silver is tried and tried as gold. You know, they're going to be literally, you know, be tried in the furnace of affliction and literally be brought through that fire, you know, be beamed up as those missiles are coming down to destroy this place, you know. Lucky, you bear with me. Okay, this is <coughs> it's like you. This is the book of John chapter 12 and verse 40. And it says, He hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart, that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their heart, and be converted, and I should heal them. So yes, you know, the Lord pretty much has blinded two-thirds of our people. So that they can't get this word, even if, you know, you manage to talk to them and they may listen, you know, they're still not going to get it. You know, ultimately, it's not for them. You know, this word is really only for the elect in this particular time. But this is what, you know, the two thirds want, you know, this is the book of Isaiah 
chapter 30 and verse 10, and it says, it's lucky I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at 8. <coughs> <coughs> Lucky. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 8. And it says, Now go, write it before them in the table, and note it in a book, that it may be before it's lucky, that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. That this is a rebellious people. <laughs> That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not, and which, Slakia, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us, write things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits, get you out of the way, turn aside. Out of the path caused the holy it's like it caused the holy one of Israel to cease from before us. So yes, yeah, pretty much, you know, the two thirds of the nation of Israel want to hear lies, you know, they don't want to hear the truth. You know, this is why, you know, they go to these churches pretty much to hear their their pastors, you know, pretty much lie to them and tell them everything is gonna be okay when in fact, you know, everything isn't gonna be okay, you know. This society, this system is being brought down, you know, it's collapsing from within, you know, then ultimately it's going to be destroyed, you know, they don't want to hear, you know, the, the, the right things, as they say, you know, they don't want to hear that, you know, the kingdom, you know, the kingdom of heaven, you know, it's coming, it's on the way. You know, they don't want to hear that our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to, you know, deliver his people, which are the nation of Israel, but only the elect. You know, they don't want to hear these things. You know, again, they only want to hear small things. They only want to hear lies, you know, and ultimately it's going to cost them, you know. Then I'm going to come to the book of Second Address, chapter 9, and I'm going to start at verse 7. And it says, and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them from the beginning. It's like, yeah, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. And yes, you know, again, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be saved by their faith and by their works, you know. Verse 9, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty and when <clears throat> as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised it the same shall know it after death by pain so yes you know the two-thirds of the nation of israel isn't going to get this word until ultimately they they die they receive that horrible judgment you know because yes <clears throat> the two thirds of the nation of israel will be brought back in the kingdom you know they're going to be they're going to be reborn into the kingdom you know they're going to be the children to the elect you know that make it but on this side they're being blinded but on the other side you know they're going to get it they're going to understand you know Verse 13, and therefore be not thou curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but, in, it's like it, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is. 
and for whom the world is created. You know, verse 14, then answered I and said, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there are many more of them which perish than them which shall be saved like as a wave is greater than a drop so yes pretty much again only a remnant of the nation of israel is going to make it you know two-thirds of our people they still have time to get this word you know while the internet again is still up and running while the men of the lord are still out on the streets you know preaching and prophesying you know the downfall of america aka babylon the great you know they don't want to hear it you know they're being blinded they have an angel that's pretty much blinding them and stopping them from receiving this word you know And then I'm going to end it on this. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 12. You know what? I'm just going to start at verse 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as was never since there was a nation even to that same time at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book again the elect <clears throat> of the nation of israel is going to be delivered you know from jacob's trouble you know verse 2 and this is the point. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt, you know. So, you know, those that are going to have, you know, awake to everlasting life, you know, the elect, you know, because they're going to be delivered, you know. It's like it says, roughly paraphrasing, there shall be some, some of you that shall not taste of death. So, you know, there's certain, you know, elect members that are on this earth that aren't going to, you know, taste of death. You know, when the Lord comes back to deliver them, you know, they're going to be translated. You know, they're going to receive those new bodies, you know. So that's them receiving their everlasting life. And then it says some to shame and everlasting contempt, you know, that's going to be the two thirds, you know. Because they're gonna they're gonna feel that shame. They're gonna feel just like that said that everlasting contempt, you know, they're gonna they're gonna be ashamed for the things that they did, you know, ultimately coming up against, you know, the men of the Lord, you know, really coming up against, you know, the Heavenly Father and His Son. But coming up against the men of the Lord, you know, because pretty much now you have the the true men, you know, starting with the apostles and elders on down, you know, pretty much giving this word to our people, you know, warning them of the dangers and the destruction that's coming upon this place, you know, and pretty much again, our people, two thirds of our people are engulfed in folly, you know, they don't take anything serious when this is one of the most serious times, you know, upon the planet of the earth. It's like you're upon the planet earth that we're about to enter into, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble, as it said in Daniel, you know, 12 and 1 is going to be a time such as never was, you know. So this is going to be the worst time upon the planet Earth, you know. So our people have liberty to get this word, but ultimately they're being blinded from receiving it, you know. So for that, they're going to be destroyed. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakwadash. I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who our land is true from, and I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. Till the next time I say Shalom.